Hey folks, this is Sebastian. I'm a physicist from the RWTH Aachen University and I've just seen Matt Parker's video How fast is a fidget spinner? Yeah, I'm a little late to this party. I'd just like to add two things. One is a method to measure slow rotating fidget spinners and the other one is, well... This is how you do gyroscopic precession. Okay, so to the first part. Um, you had trouble to measure the slow rotating fidget spinner. So if it's just rotating by uh, your muscle power, um, it's not fast enough to really make a sound in the uh, audible range. Um, so what can we do instead? Well, the nice thing is that these parts here are magnetic. And we can simply take another magnet and magnetize one of them. So you just have to attach it there, move a little bit, should be plenty already. And your phone has a magnetometer. So what we can do now is we take the sensor app from our university, which is called FIFOX, which you can get for free from FIFOX.org. And there we open the magnetometer. So almost every phone has a magnetometer because this is your compass while you are navigating. So if we start the measurement of the magnetometer and we rotate this fidget spinner slowly, you can see that now only one of the three parts of the fidget spinner gives a strong signal because we only magnetized one of them. And this means that now the signal is periodic with one rotation of the fidget spinner. And we can do the same thing that Matt did, doing a Fourier transform so we get the spectrum, but this time it's not the audio spectrum but the magnetic spectrum. Okay, and with this we can simply get the frequency of our fidget spinner as a peak in the spectrum. Okay. Of course, uh, the maximum frequency you can detect with this method depends on the speed of your magnetometer, which is different for each phone. Now on to the second part. Okay, Matt, I'm a big fan of you and I enjoyed this video just like the other ones. And while the Fourier transform was really your area, this is the domain of the physicist. And maybe you should have asked your friend Steve about this. If you folks don't know how gyroscopic precession works, there's a nice video by Veritasium, which I will link in the description. So your setup had two problems. The first one was really strong angular momentum, because you had your string quite far away from the fidget spinner and this thing is quite heavy and doesn't have enough ang angular momentum to keep up this way. Um, you just have to reduce the torque a little bit. Okay. The other problem is a mistake in the way you chose your orientation of this fidget spinner. If you orient it like that, then your angular momentum is pointing upwards. Okay? Then if you attach it to your string, you get a torque pointing in this direction. So the angular momentum is rotated by the torque in this direction. And if you get at this point, then the torque and the angular momentum point the same way. And your fidget spinner can simply drop down, which you just did. So my setup, the angular momentum is pointing in this direction. And while I'm holding it on the string, we get a torque which is pointing in this direction. So the sum of the angular momentum and the torque makes it process this way and no matter in which position you are, the torque is always in a perpendicular direction to the angular momentum. Also, I reduce the torque a little bit by putting the string closer to the fidget spinner. Voila! Well, that's it for now. If you're interested in our app, which is FeeFox, um, you can find it for free on feefox.org or from your app store on Android or iOS. Um, also, you can check out my channel for other videos on how to measure stuff with your phone. Um, that's it. I hope to see you in another video.